It's a new day. It's a new hour to experience God's supernatural power. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Did you turn it on? Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's a new day. It's a new hour to experience God's supernatural power. Hallelujah. I'm not going to keep you long tonight. So we're going to pray and we're going to get into the word. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you now thanking you, Father, for your holy word. Thank you, Father, for the benefits of serving you. And I believe, Father, that through it all, your word will bring us to a place of supernatural Increase supernatural endowment, supernatural power. Your name shall be glorified in our midst. Your word is alive and health and healing to all our flesh. So as we take your word and minister your word, we believe that we will experience your goodness and your mercies in these last days. And Father, I don't know why people don't receive their healings. I don't know why. But Lord, you know. You know everything concerns the heart of man. You created man in your own image and after your likeness. So Father, we come to you today. We come asking you, Father, that you would minister to our hearts and help us to come to understand the truth of thine word. That we may believe and receive thy word. And we give you all the praise and all the glory for it in advance. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. 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 Amen, amen, and amen. Folks, we serve a good God. The God that we serve, he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we ask or think according to that power that worketh in us. And that power that works in us is the power of Almighty God. It works in us the will and the do of his great pleasures. Amen. And so today I want to encourage you to prepare your heart to receive the living word of God. Hallelujah. And I believe that, you'll, that you will never be the same as we take God's word to heart. Amen. De tarada basa tolo bom gulasa tila ande lo bosong direki ye se ki mana la basong to 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 ne leki mana la ko she te te ki mana la basai do raba se ki te la basong de de she te la ba ye la ba ko to to ba se ki do ne le she ba la ba katala ba se for I will release my anointing today. And I will cause the hearts that are have been attentive to my word to hear and not only hear, but believe and receive. For my word has power, my word has life. And if you would open up your heart to receive that which I shall speak today, I will release unto you the source 
that you long to experience, which is my power. I will heal you, yea, I will deliver you, yea, I will set you free from the powers of darkness if you only believe. Only believe, said God, and I will do the work in you that will take man years to accomplish, but I will do it in an instant, said the Lord. All I'm asking of you is to have confidence in me, trust my word, and adhere to my saying. For my word is life and health and healing to all your flesh. Oh yeah, to all your flesh. And I will not allow my word to return void. So take my word and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And you shall find rest unto your soul. For my word is full of life indeed. Yo se ke la basan de Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Receive my word now, said the Lord. Receive my word. Open up your heart and allow me to speak to you. Open up your heart and allow me to speak to you. For I will show you things that you have not seen before. And I will cause your understanding to be fruitful. And I will cause my word to be multiplied in your spirit. Oh, I will heal you, said the Lord. But you got to believe. You gotta believe. Ha shake out of Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I believe, Father. I believe that your people will hear, and I believe that they will receive. I thank you for it in advance. In Jesus' name. Oh, Satalabaka, Satalabaka. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. So then, now God is, I believe God is trying to, I believe God is talking to us today. And I believe God is wanting us to get, but he wants, to, he wants to, to receive his word. I don't know why. I don't understand why people are not being healed. Amen. But I know that God wants to heal you. Amen. Do you believe that God wants to heal you? I'm asking you a question. Do you believe that God wants to heal you? Amen. Amen. If you've already been healed before, then, then don't let the devil take your healing from you. When you find the symptoms, try to come back upon your body once again, like as was before. Just say, oh no, devil. Just speak to that, speak to that thing. Say, oh no, devil. God has already healed me of this. I don't receive it. I know this is not coming from God. This is coming from you, devil, and I don't receive it. Oh no, devil. You get your hands off me right now in Jesus' name. I have not violated God's laws. I have not violated the natural laws. Now you have no reason to touch me. Take your hand off me now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You got to speak to that devil. That devil will he will he will he will run over you if you allow him to. You have to speak to that devil. You are the one that God gave control over that over that body. You are the one that God has given authority over that body. Amen. You have the one that God has caused to speak to that body. I can speak to it, but you got to speak to it. You got to speak to your body. Amen. God has given you power and authority in your words. Glory to God. So speak to that body. Speak to that, speak to that body and command that body to function properly. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Behold, I give unto you power. Behold, I give unto you power. I give unto you power to shred over the serpents and over the scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. And I say that nothing shall by any means hurt you. So don't be afraid to stand and speak my word. Don't be afraid to, 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 to speak my word over your own body. Over your, over your brother, over your sister, over your children. Don't be afraid to speak my word, for I have given you authority. I have placed my word in you. My word is in your heart. It's been hidden in your heart. Now speak my word, declare my word, and stay in line with my word, and I will confirm my word with signs following, said the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to be like the apostles. I'm going to say, Lord, stretch forth thy hand. That's a good scripture. Let's go there and start right there. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 4. Hallelujah. Acts, chapter 4. Let's start right there today. Hallelujah. And I just want you to believe. Ah, my God, I just want you to believe. Because I know that all things are possible to them that believe. Glory to God. 
All things are possible to him that believe. Glory to God. Glory to God. Something is going on back there. Go check that out for me, please. Go satala basiti la la bakonde de sinke da la basandre mangrasa torobo satoro basande la kete la bakai. Oh, rabasa tala la bakie. It's still done. It's still done. Okay. Click start again. Go satala la basie. Oh, rabasande de kese. Oh, sandala la basandre se kete la basandre. Oh, Sakala la basson de l'échiquette à la basson, d'autor au basse, t'es là la bacache, t'es là la bacon, t'es là la bassa, y'a que t'as la basson de l'équité de bacaille. Oh, rasa la basson de l'échiquette à la basson de l'échiquette. Oh, rende l'échiquette à la bacaille. Oh, coco, 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 Mandala la bakoshi te la bakasi ke e shata na na bakosho tona le se ke la banda la se ke la o raba sata na na bakishi ke te o de 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 bakosho ko 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 se te de 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 bakashi ke ko raba sata na na baki e she ke te te ko na mo se mo na ba la ba la ba la ya se ke te o shata na na baki te te kamasha. Mandele seki, mandele kese. Ko sana makasa tadabako labase. Ko shata labake. Ko sata tete labako. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. Friend, I want to tell you that when God is speaking... Oh, I tell you what, we just, it just, uh, the, there's, a, there's an enemy that's doing everything he can to stop the word of God from going forth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. So we want to, we want to just, just get into the spirit right now. Amen. Just walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Let the spirit of God speak to your heart. Amen. Let the spirit of God rise up within you. And don't let the enemy stop you from receiving what God is saying. Amen. Because God is speaking. God is speaking. And he is speaking with the word of life. He's speaking with the word of life. God's word will not return void. Amen. God's word will not return void. It will accomplish that what pleases him. Amen. And it pleases God for us to walk in divine health. It pleases God for us to walk in divine health. Amen. So let's get our heart in tune with what God is saying to us today. And let us believe what God is saying today. Amen. Let us believe what God is saying today. So now I want to go to the book of Acts chapter 4. As we were started from the beginning. The book of Acts chapter 4. Hallelujah. Now look at, now look at verse, number, verse number 30. Book of Acts chapter 4 verse number 30. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And, and, and the word of God says in verse number 29, uh, Acts chapter 4, verse number 29. And now the Lord, and now, Lord, behold, their threatens, and, 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 and grant unto thy servant that with all boldness, they may speak, they may speak thy word by stretching forth thine hand and heal and signs and wonders shall, and signs and wonders may be done by the hand, by the, by the name of the holy child Jesus. Amen. So we're going we're gonna to believe God today for signs and wonders that's going to go forth as he stretched forth his hand and heal. Amen with signs and wonders to follow the word. Amen. Glory to God. <clears throat> Glory to God. We're going to believe God today. Are you going to believe God with me today for your miracle? Amen. Or then just, just, just let's, let's believe together because I'm, I'm standing in faith with you right now. I'm in faith with you right now. You know, you ever, you ever been just riding around, you know, just, just, just minding your own business all of a sudden? You start, you just feel something, you just feel something start trying to mess with you and all of a sudden you just get dizzy, amen. 
Amen. And it, and it kind of scary because you're thinking, boy, if I, if I don't pull over, if I don't stop, something's going to happen. Amen. But instead, it just start worshiping God. Just start worshiping God. Start praising God. And everything, whatever, whatever that is that the enemy trying to pull on you, amen, as you start entering, as you enter into the presence of God, begin to worship him and begin to praise him. Glory to God. My God, if you, if you, you, if your connection with God is, is a good connection, it won't take long for that thing to be lifted up off of you. Amen. Because God loves you. God wants to see you succeed. God wants you to experience his goodness and his mercy. Amen. Today is your breakthrough day. Amen. Today is your breakthrough. Do you believe that God wants you healed? Do you believe that God wants you healed? Yes, of course you should believe it. I don't know whether you believe it or not, but yes, you should believe it. Why you should believe it? Because it is God's will that you walk free from every entanglement of the enemy. It is God's will. It is God's will. Amen. Glory to God. And so now, so now let's go to the book of Acts. And look at the book of Acts chapter 3. Since we are over here in the book of Acts already. Let's go to Acts chapter 3. And let us look at verse number 1. Acts chapter 3 and verse number 1. And it reads, Now Peter and John went up, into, went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried whom they lay daily at the gate of the temple, which is called the beautiful, which is called beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. And seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, ask an alms, and Peter fastened his eyes on him with John, said, Look on us. Oh, glory to God. You see, now I'm talking about I'm, I'm not talking about Jesus healing now. I'm talking about the disciples being used. I'm talking about men like men like you and me is, is being used by God to heal. Amen. Amen. Because these men, they was they was they were they, they wasn't Jesus. They were the men, but they used the name because the power is in the name. It's in the name. Glory to God. The power is in the name of Jesus. It's not in Paul, it's not in John, but the power is in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Oh, hallelujah. When you can, when you can pray to God, when you can talk to the Father, when you can speak and to declare a thing in that name, glory to God, he said that all things are possible to him that believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it says right here, in verse number, in verse number, verse number three says, now, who's seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple? Ask and alms, and Peter fastened his eyes on him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. I like verse number six, and he said, Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, you see, the power of it's in the name of Jesus Christ. The power was not in Paul, not in Peter, not in John, but the power was in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Hallelujah. Rise up and walk. The power is available in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Now he said, rise up and walk. Then it goes on to say, hallelujah, goes on to say, right in verse number seven, and he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately, oh, he said immediately, immediately, amen. See, there are some works that will take place immediately, amen. There are some things that will take place immediately, hallelujah. Notice what, what it says right here in verse number 7, in Acts chapter 3, verse number 7, glory to God. Acts chapter 3, verse number 7, and he took him by the hand by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his ankle, his feet and ankle bone received strength. Received strength. Now notice what he did after he received strength. In verse number 8, and he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and doing what? And praising God. And praising God. Hallelujah. You see, this man, he never knew he was going to be healed, but you know what? He didn't reject it when it came to him. So many of us reject it when it comes to us. We say, oh, I don't believe that's going to work for me. It might work for somebody else, but for me, oh, no, it won't work for me. I, 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 just, I just don't believe that. 
See, you are stopping your own breakthrough. You are stopping your own miracle with your attitude. This man was at the gate of the temple. He wasn't looking for healing. He was looking for some money. He wasn't looking for healing. He was looking for some money. But he's like, he got, he received something greater than money. He received something that money couldn't buy. He received a healing. He received a miracle. He received a manifestation of God's power working in his body, bringing him to an upright position. Hallelujah. Instead of sitting on that ground begging, now he can get out and do something with his hands. He can walk where he want to go. He can, he, he can do what he want to do to earn some money. Amen. They gave him one of the greatest meals he could have asked for. Amen. They, they said, sit and go, have I none. But such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Now, folks, that was something very significant for that man because that man was born that way. He was born that way. He didn't just happen to get that way. He was born that way. Hallelujah. He was a born cripple. <clears throat> And in order for him to help him bring, in order for him to be able to help his parents to, to make ends meet, they brought him at the gate to bed. And who knows? He might have been begging for the whole family. <laughs> you never know. Amen. He could have been begging for the whole family so that the family couldn't have to eat, didn't have to work. Amen. So he was out there asking them. Amen. And I guess every time the basket full, the parents come and get the money and go back, you know. But I'm telling you like this. I don't know what was the case. But all I know is what happened when the men of God came by and spoke the word of God in faith. The words that came out of Peter's mouth came out full of faith and full of power. Came out full of faith and full of power. And the devil that, 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 that will try to keep that man bound could not hold him. He had to let him go. Immediately, the Bible said, immediately his ankle, his feet received strength, and his ankle, his feet and his ankle bone received strength, and he leaping and walked. He leaping and walked. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So now we see that God is doing something. We see that God won't want you healed. Amen. What how what why why do you think that God wants you healed? Look, my friend, God created you in his own image and after his likeness. God then God formed man from the dust of the earth, from the dust of the ground, and breathed in his, into his nostrils the breath of the spirit of life. When God breathed in you the breath of the spirit of life, he breathed a part of himself in you. Amen. He breathed a part of himself in you. And for you to allow, and for you to not accept what God has done for you, he's already paid the price for your healing. He's already went to the other, he's already laid down his life. Amen. Through his son Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And all he's expecting out of you is just for you to open up your heart and simply receive what he's already done. Simply receive what he's already done. Glory to God. So now, now here, here we see here, we see here now in Acts chapter, in Acts chapter 3, in Acts chapter 3 in verse number, in verse number 9 it says, And all the people saw him walking and, and praising God, and they knew that it that it was he which set for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were full, and they were filled with wonder and amazement. Amen. Why were they filled with wonder and amazement? Because they saw, they saw that they see this man every day. They come through the temple to pray, and they see this man sitting there every day. Amen. But now they see something out of the ordinary have taken place. They knew this man was crippled from his mother's womb. Amen. Because they watched the child. I could imagine they, 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 it was a, a small village, and I could imagine them knowing everybody in the village, and they saw that the parent brought the child there daily and laid him at the gate so he could, re, so he could uh, uh, act for, for money. Amen. And one day when, he brought, when they brought him to the gate and asked for money, here come this man of God. Just walk, a man of God that had not too long been walking with Jesus. Amen. A man, man of God had not too long been walking in the presence of Almighty God. And all of a sudden, this man of God sees this man sitting here and he began to speak life into him. He began to release the anointing. He began to cause everything that or cause those things which be not as though they were. He said, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have. What did he have? He had the presence of God. He had the miracle, miracle, miracle working power of God on the inside of him. He had the word of God on the inside of him. He had the anointing to set the captives free. 
Amen. And he says, Sure, go have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. And he rushed out and picked up the man by the right hand. And the man began to leap and walk, he began to leap and jump. His ankle bone, his feet and his ankle bone received strength. And the man, glory to God, was healed immediately. Immediately. Hallelujah. Why was he healed? He was healed because the word was believed and received. The word was believed and received. Hallelujah. See, you can believe the word, but if you don't receive the word, you're going to continue in the same condition that you're in. You got to believe the word. Wait a minute. First, he heard, he believed, and he received. He did not draw back. Oh, you can't pick me up. Turn me loose. Don't, don't, up, up. No, he didn't try to get away from, from Peter when he rushed out to pick him up. He gave Peter his arm willingly. He gave Peter his hand willingly. And as Peter touched his men, I can imagine the power of God zapped him, went through his whole body. Amen. And he began to leap and walk and praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Leaping and walking and praising God. That's the, that's the power of God, folks. That's the power of God. Amen. Look at verse number 10. Said, and verse number 10 said, And they knew that it was, this is Acts chapter, chapter 3, verse number 10. And they knew that it was he which set, at the, at the, set for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were full, filled with a wonder and amazement at that which was happened, which had happened to him. Amen. And and as he and as he and as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon, greatly wondering. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? For or, or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? Verse number 13. That God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, had glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up, and Pilate, whom ye delivered up, <coughs> denied him, in the, in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go but ye denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto you and you killed the Prince of Life whom God has raised from the dead wherein, Ms. whereof we are witnesses. I like verse number 16 says, and his name through faith glory to God, through faith in his name Glory to God. And his name through faith in his name. Had, had this man. Made this man strong. Whom ye see and know. Yea the faith which is by him. Had given him. This perfect soundness. In the presence of you all. Amen. So we see that the word. The word of God has the ability to produce, to create, or to bring forth that which God intended from the foundation of the earth. Amen. God's word will not return to you void. Amen. So we got to believe the word of God. Do you believe that God wants you healed? This man, he had no idea that God wanted him healed. He was there minding his own business, asking for alms. And here come this man of God. Here come these two men of God walking in the gate. He wasn't been more expecting a man of God to come by him to, for, and do this for no, no, a bit more than a man on the moon. Amen. But this man, he was sitting there. He was begging. He was hungry. And I can imagine his family was hungry too. And he was out working for the family. He was out working for the family. Glory to God. I like, I like to think so. Amen. Glory to God. Because he had a legitimate cost to get free money. And he was, uh, he was, he was out there working for the family. Amen. So now, listen folks. Here come this man, these two men of God. 
They just mind their own business, praising God and, and thanking God for the opportunity to go and to seek his face in the temple. They just walking, mind their own business, just praising God, just walking, amen, talking about the goodness of the Lord and all, and all the things that they have experienced with the Lord, amen, while he was with them on the earth. Now they're going to the temple to pray, and all of a sudden, they get to operate in the same power that he that Jesus gave them when he was there on earth. Amen. When he was there on earth. Remember what he said in Acts in, in book of uh, Luke, chapter chapter 9, verse number 1. And he called his 12 disciples together and he gave them power. Amen. He gave them power. Now in Acts chapter 3, we see that the disciples are still operating in that same power. They're still operating in the same power. Because Peter and John was walking to the temple to pray, being the ninth hour. Amen. And this man was laying at the gate, and here come Peter and John walking through the gate, minding their own business, just, just meditating on the, on the goodness of the Lord. Amen. And all the things that he showed them while he was walking with them on the earth. Now, all of a sudden, they get to operate, they get to release that anointing. They get they, they have the opportunity to release that anointing as they were walking to the temple. And then they had the opportunity to... Now, now, when this miracle happened, that gave them the ability to minister to the whole crowd because they all gathered around them because of that one miracle. All the people gathered around them, and then Peter was able to minister to them, to the crowd of people, tell them about Jesus, the one that they crucified, the one that they denied. Amen. Glory to God. Isn't that powerful? That is powerful. Amen. But now, here he comes. And that man said, oh, arm for the poor, arm for the poor. And Peter looked upon him and said, oh, my friend, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, I will give you. And he will say, huh? Huh? What do you got you going to give? <laughs> what are you going to give me, man? I'm, I'm hungry. What are you going to give me? I'm going to give you the ability to get up and go to work yourself and earn your own key. Amen. So the man, the man, he looked up and he said, Sim and go have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. And he stretched forth his hand to pick him up. And this man grabbed his hand. And the Bible said his feet and his ankle bone received strength. And he leaped and walked. Amen. Leaping and walked and praising God. Hallelujah. Because of the power of the living God. Hallelujah. My friend, I'm telling you right now that God wants to do something. God wants to do something in your life. God wants to bring you to a place where you will experience his, his, his miracle working power. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, let's go to it. Let's go to some. Let's look at something else here. Let's look at something else here because you see, you see, God wants you to know, amen, God wants you to know a person, the lame man who, who sat at the, at the temple, uh, the temple gate begging, amen, Peter looked on him, he said, look on us, he had, and he made a, a statement that, that they uh, had no silver nor gold and he gave them his, and, and to give the man, followed by a, a, a declaration, amen, followed by a declaration that they would, Give him what they did have. What did they have? They had God's power. They had God's anointing. And they released it in their men. Peter commanded him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. He commanded him to rise up and walk. Peter took, took the man by the hand, by the right hand, and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankles received strength. And the lame man stood, walked, leaping, and praising God. Stood, walked, and leaping, and praising God. Amen. Peter and John had no doubt. Had no doubt. Amen. They, they had no doubt in their heart. But they acted on what they believed. They acted on the, in, in the realm of faith. They walked in the realm of the spirit. Carrying out the assignment that Jesus gave them when he called the 12 disciples together in the book of Luke, Gospel chapter 1, and then chapter 10. Amen. And they, and he, they continually walking in that strength. They continue walking in obedience to what Christ had given them, the assignment that he had given them. Amen. Then you go back to Acts chapter 1, you find out that, that they all received power. Amen. And began to speak with other tongues in chapter 2. Amen. And began to speak with other tongues. And glory to God, the person of God filled the house. 
that 120 was saved and born again and filled the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we see here that God is concerned about the people today. Amen. Now let's look at 1 Timothy chapter 4. Amen. 1 Timothy chapter 4 says, I thank my father that bodily, bodily exercise profit a little, but godliness is profitable for all things, having promise of the life that now is and that which is to come. Amen. We got to hold fast to the word of God, folks. We got to believe the word of God. Amen. We have to believe the word of God. And Proverbs 12 and 18 says, the tongue of the wise promotes health. The tongue of the wise promotes health. Amen. So we got to be uh, health promoters. We got to be promoting life and health to the people. Amen. Through the word of God. Amen. Through the word of God. Amen. Then it says in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 30, a sound heart is like a, is like a, is like to the body. It's health to, it's life to the body. A sound heart is health to the body. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So we see that God is showing us in his word. Amen. He showed us in his word that all we have to do is continue in the word and God will do everything that he needs to do to make sure that his word will fall, not fall to the ground. Amen. So it says in, in uh, Proverbs chapter, chapter 14, Proverbs chapter 14, verse number 30, and it says right here, it says that a sound heart is like life. Is, a sound heart is the life of the flesh. A sound heart is the life to the flesh. But envy rottens the bone. Amen. So we know that when we are, when we when we are, when we are at peace, our hearts are at peace, and our words are going to be wholesome words. We're not going to say anything that's going to be rocketory. We're not going to say anything that's going to be harmful. We're going to say what God has said because we want the word of God to manifest in the lives and in the heart of the people. Amen. In the life and the heart of the people, we want to see the will of God being carried out in their life. Amen. Amen. Now, you know what I said right there? Amen. Now, let's look at uh, look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Glory to God. I want, uh, we're going to be going through, I'm just going through a few scriptures right now. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And I want to look here. Hallelujah. At verse number, at verse number 19 and 20. 18, 19, 20. Verse number, chapter, first Corinthians chapter 6, verse number 18, 19, and 20. And it says, flee fornication. Every sin that is, every sin that man doeth is without the body. But he that committed a, a fornication sinned against his own body. What know ye not? What? Know ye not? I like this. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you which ye have of God and ye are not your own for ye are bought with a price and that's powerful you are bought with a price amen so why would you allow the enemy to cause you to do that which is not right in the sight of God amen so notice what he said verse number 20 this is 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse number 20 for ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. Glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Amen. And in your spirit, which are God's. Amen. So when we are, when we're, when we're ministering healing, when we're teaching you healing, amen, in the scripture, see, we're not teaching you by the flesh. We're not teaching you by the by the by the will of man, but we're teaching you by the spirit. Of the living God. Amen. You can be healed through the flesh. Don't get me wrong. Because there, 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 there are people that are, that is so uh, strong in the fleshly realm that they can produce healing in the flesh. Go to those sorcerers and you'll see it happening. Amen. Go to those witchcraft people. You'll see it happening. But we do it not by the will of the flesh, but by the will of the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Because it's in him that we live and move and have our being. It's in him that the life and the nature of God flows through us freely. Amen. On the behalf of others. 
Hallelujah. So let's stay, let's stick with what God is doing and not and not allow ourselves to be sidetracked. Amen. Not allow ourselves to be sidetracked. So in uh, in the book of Exodus chapter twenty three, in the book of Exodus chapter twenty three, Amen. Just go. Yes, I hear the pages turning. Just let them turn. Exodus chapter twenty three. That's good. And look at verse number twenty five. Exodus twenty three twenty five. Glory to God. And it says. And it says. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and ye sh and he shall bless thy bread. Oh, see that? Now, those of you that have problems eating different types of food, amen, this is your answer right here. Amen. Ye verse number 25. Verse number 25 says, And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy food. Now, who said, And he shall bless thy food, glory to God, and thy water, and will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Hallelujah. Amen. So God wants to bless you. God wants to strengthen you. God wants to encourage you. Amen. He wants he want to bless your bread. Serve God is, serving God is, a, is a directly related to your health. Did you know that? Did you know that serving God is directly related to your health? Amen. That's why you have to worship God. That's why you have to serve God. That's why you have to acknowledge God. That's why you have to, oh, oh, oh my God. That's why you just got to stop what you're doing sometimes and just begin to worship him. Begin to praise him. Oh, glory to God. And I was just riding another day and I just, and, I, and all of a sudden a song just came up in my heart. Uh, and I began to sing that song to the Lord. And all of a sudden I was in the presence of the Lord. Glory to God. Because he is here. Hallelujah, he is here, amen, he is here, holy, holy, we can trust his name again, because see, God is wait. God is here with us right now, amen, and he's right there where you are as well, glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah, and so we have to just stay with the word of God, so now I want to look at uh, uh, Psalm 103, Psalm 103, since we're still over here in, the, in this area. Let's go to Psalm 103. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 103. Amen. Here we go. Amen. Psalm 103. Now let's look at verse number 3. Psalm 103 and verse number 3. We can read verse 1 through 4, and then we, we will get a, a good picture. But I just want to focus on verse number 3 right now. Amen. Who, because when we're talking about God, Amen. Who, who, uh, who forgiveth all thine iniquity, who healeth all thy diseases. Hallelujah. Who, who healeth all thine, who, who forgiveth all thine iniquity, who healeth all thy diseases. Amen. And at verse number four, who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Hallelujah. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Who redeemed our life from destruction. Hallelujah. Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Glory to his name. Glory. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Now, folks, when we get a hold of this word like this, we just got to trust God. We just got to trust God. And in Psalm 107, verse 20, is a, is a verse that I love. Amen. Because it speaks directly to my heart. It speaks directly to my heart. And it says Psalm 107 verse 20. I think, you know, that I, I'm just going to turn my page over there and read. I, I could read from my notes, but I want I like to read it right from the Bible. I like to read it right from the Bible. He said, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. I thank you, Lord, that you, that you've Forgiven all my iniquities and healed me of my of my diseases. You have sent your word, Lord God. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord, that you have sent your word and you have healed me and delivered me from my destruction. So you can personalize that. You can make you can you, it it could, it could be speaking directly to you if you learn how to personalize some of these scriptures. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And then you can look at you can look at uh, Job. One is Job 33, verse 28. Let's turn there, Job 33, verse 28. Amen. I know a lot of people like Job. A lot of people like Job because they see Job 
went through a whole lot, glory to God. Job went through a whole lot. But guess what? Jesus did too. <laughs> Job 33, amen, and verse 28. Job 33, verse 28. That's what we're looking for right now. Here we go, here we go. Job 33, verse number 28. Here, here we go, verse number 28. He will deliver his soul from going into the pit and his life shall see the light. Amen. And his life shall see the light. So I can, make, I can personalize this. I thank you, Lord, that you've delivered my soul from going down into the pit. And my life is seeing your light. See, I personalized that. So I made it, I made it so that God is, I made it so that the word is, is speaking directly to me. Amen. I'm causing the word of God to come to be a living reality in my heart by personalizing the scripture. Amen. And then again in Matthew chapter 8, verse number 16. Amen. Matthew chapter 8, verse number 16. Glory to God. Verse number 16. It's a very familiar passage of scripture, but let's, let's look at it anyway. Let's read it right here then. It said, verse 16. When the, when the evil was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he and he cast the word out the spirit with his word and healed all that were sick. Amen. And so if, if I, I personalized that, I said, I thank you that you healed all who were sick. Amen. I thank you that you healed all who were sick. Amen. Because see, I I'm, I'm, I I I thank God for him healing the sick through you, the spoken word. God wants to bring you to a place where your whole entire being would be saturated with his word. Folks, when you have his word on the inside of you, that word begins to transform you. Remember what it says in Romans chapter 12, verse number 2. It says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. God wants you to be transformed by the word. Amen. Amen. Because it said in, the, in, in, in Jeremiah, I mean, not Jeremiah, in Joshua chapter 1, verse number 8, he said, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Amen. So we want the word of God not to just be a word that we can hear and receive, but we want the word of God to come alive on the inside of us. To come alive. Amen. Because it will produce the life and the nature of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because we want the Lord. We want we, we wait on the Lord. Amen. We want to wait on the Lord. Why? Because we want him to renew our strength. According to Isaiah chapter 40, verse number 31. Amen. Amen. Wait on the Lord. Amen. And he will renew thy strength as the eagle. Thou shalt mount with wings of the eagle. Thou shalt run and not be weary. Thou shalt walk and not faint. Amen. So he want, as we wait upon the Lord, he will renew our strength like the eagle. Amen. How do we wait on the Lord? By spending time with him in the word. And then we got Jeremiah chapter 30, verse number 17. A, a very a powerful scripture, amen, that will really benefit you if you would just meditate upon it. This scripture here, it happened, it, it deals with the inner man. It deals with the, the, the inner man. Notice what it says in verse number 17. Verse number 17, Jeremiah 30, verse number 17. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. See, he's talking about the wounds that cannot be seen with the natural eye. He's talking about the hidden wounds of the, of the heart. Amen. He said, I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord. Amen. Because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Amen. So God wants to heal you. He wants to restore you. He wants to make you whole. Amen. He wants to heal you, restore you, and make you whole. Glory to God. Glory to his name. I know that time is running out. Amen. I said I wasn't going to keep you all long. Amen. I've been, I, 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 I started five minutes late, so I'm going to take five more minutes. <laughs> Amen. So now, so now we, we understand what God is trying to do. We understand what God is saying to us. So now let's look at the book of Matthew, chapter 14. 
Matthew chapter 14, amen. In Matthew chapter 14, I want us to look here, and I want you to, to, to uh, hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you, amen. Matthew chapter 14, and verse number 14 says, And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them and healed their sick. See, Jesus is still moving with compassion through the words that we speak. Amen? And he's still healing the sick today. He's still healing the sick today. Now, I want to know, do you believe that God can heal you? That's my question for today. Do you believe that God can heal you? Amen? Because if you can believe it, the Bible said, as you believe in your heart, so is he. As a man believing in his heart, so is he. If you believe that you're healed in your heart, then so are you healed. Amen? Jesus has already paid the price. He's paid the utmost price for our healing. What, how, did he pay our, how did he pay the price? He paid the price for our healing with his own life. With his own life. Glory to God. With his own life, he paid the price. And if we would just acknowledge what he did, what he has done, and what he is doing today through the spoken word, Folks, I believe that you can walk right now and God will begin to restore your health. See, some people are healed instantly, but then there are those who are not going to receive instantly. Amen. But I'm going to say it like this. According to your faith, be it unto you. According to your faith, be it unto you. Amen. So now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father, for your word. I thank you, Father, for the anointing that is upon your word. I thank you, Father, for those who have an ear. Let them hear what the Spirit of God is saying right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I rebuke every spirit of sickness and disease off of your people. I bind every spirit of infirmity. I cancel every argument in the spirit realm over their lives. Father, I release right now the anointing. I release right now the anointing to lift the burdens and destroy the yoke. For this is the purpose that the Son of God was manifest to destroy the works of the devil. So right now, Father, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus, let your arm be extended right now and heal your people, Lord God, with signs and wonders following your word. I thank you right now, Father. I release that anointing right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Now receive that healing. Receive that anointing. Receive that word. Because this is your season and it is your hour to receive God's supernatural power. God bless you. My name is Pastor Larry. Thank you for listening to the message today. Now it's time for us to take about eating and offering. Amen. It's time for us to take about eating and offering. Glory to God. Glory to God. I go watch Woo, glory to God, the presence of God is in this place tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So let's prepare our evening offering. Amen. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I received that heart flying up in the air. Amen. Thank you, Father. Those of you that's going to be sowing today and you're going to be giving... To the, to the work of God. Use, use my ATM card. Not my ATM card. Use your ATM card or your credit card. And go to my website. Amen. Go to my website. LarryBurgerMinistries.com Amen. Now, now listen to me. If you never have planted a seed in this ministry before. And you really need a touch from heaven. Folks, let me encourage you. Go ahead. Plant the seed. Plant the seed. And, and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Plant the seed, sow that seed in faith. Amen? Sow that seed in faith and believe God for your breakthrough. Go to my website, LarryBurkinMinistries.com and plant that seed right there. Go ahead and type my website in the, in the browser back there, please. Amen? Type the website in the browser so that, some, so that people can see it. Amen? Then LarryBurkinMinistries.com, amen? And go to, go to, my, go to my website and plant that seed and expect your breakthrough. Amen? Expect your breakthrough. Amen? Because God wants to bring you to, uh, God wants to bring your expectation to the forefront. God wants you healed. 
He wants you healed. Amen. But do you really want to be healed? I'm asking you that question. If you do, just follow the instruction that the Lord has given you right now. Follow the instructions. Amen. And then, if you go to my website and plant that seed, LabbergerMinistry.com, Amen. I'm going to come in agreement with you. I'm going to set. I'm going, to, I'm going to begin to pray for you for the next seven days. I'm going to pray for you, and I'm going to believe God for your miracle breakthrough, your healing. Amen. The manifestation of your healing. Amen. And then also, if you want to just mail it in, that's P.O. Box four one seven nine one three, Sacramento, California nine five eight four one. Again, that P.O. Box four one seven nine one three, Sacramento, California nine five eight four one. And make your check payable to Library Ministries or New Life in Christ Jesus. Amen. And expect God's miracle working power on your behalf. God wants to touch you. God wants to touch you. Amen. Now, so as you get your seed together, let's plant our seed in faith and let's believe God together. Let's plant our seed in faith and let's believe God together. Amen. That's www.labrymministries.com. Go to my website. That's right, Vasily. Amen. Go to my website and plant that seed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God wants to do something right now in your family. He wants to do something right now in your family. Someone, you, 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 you need God to work in, in your relationship. You need God to touch you in your relationship. Go ahead and plant that seed and, and, and expect your, your, your breakthrough. And plant that seed right now. Amen. And expect that breakthrough. Expect it. Glory to God. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, as the people give, I pray, Father, and release my faith, Father, with them right now. In the name of Jesus, that you would supernaturally bring into their life supernatural finances, bonuses, raises, settlements, new uh, accounts, new business. Father, entrepreneurs is being raised up right now in Jesus' name with new ideas in the name of Jesus. Billionaire ideas. And God, let your name be glorified in it all and through it all. Because it's in you, Lord God, that we live and move and have our being. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise for it now in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Sow that seed and expect your breakthrough. Expect your miracle. Amen. Glory to God. You never made Jesus Christ Lord of your life right now. Everybody decide to see together? Not right now. Not yet. Not yet. Amen. You got your seed together? Amen. Now, Father, I just give you praise and glory. Amen. Now, if you never made Jesus Christ Lord of your life, I want to give you that opportunity to do so right now also. If you never made Jesus Christ Lord of your life, maybe you have made him Lord of your life, but you backslid, you stepped away from Christ, and now God is asking you to return to him. Amen. He's asking you to return to him, and he's going to return to you. Amen. Isn't that what he said in Middle Christ chapter 3, verse number 6? Amen. Return to me, and I will return to you, said the Lord. Amen. And so we're going to ask you right now to return to the Lord, and the Lord's going to return to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, if you are listening to me right now, you never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. Maybe you have, but you back me. You want to rededicate your life to the Lord. I'm asking you to say this prayer with me. Say it with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus. Come on, say it with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin, and I ask you to forgive me of my sin. And I ask you to come into my heart, create in me a right spirit, and renew in me a clean heart. Jesus, I receive you now as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for saving me. If you said that simple prayer right now, the angels in heaven are rejoicing, and God is looking down upon you with a smile because you have made the right decision. Amen. Now, Father, for those who said that prayer, I ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would touch them that you will strengthen them, that you will empower them to be a witness for you in these last days. I thank you for it now in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have, you want me to pray for you right now, I'll come on, come on, I'm going to pray for you right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my dear sister. I thank you, Father, that your hand continually rest upon her. I thank you, Father, for divine health and healing. For healing is the children's bread. I release that right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive that. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Anybody else want to pray for it right now? Anybody else want to be prayed for? Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Glory to God. So then, let's go ahead on and let's pray for these that are with us by the internet. Father, we pray for those that are with us by the internet. We thank you, Lord God, for those that are with us. We thank you, Father, that your word has gone forth tonight. Father, your word will not return void, but it will accomplish the thing that pleases you. I thank you, Father, that your hand has been extended right now to bless your people and healing, Father, with signs, wonders, and miracles. I thank you, Father, for signs, wonders, and miracles that will accompany your word tonight in Jesus' name. And Father, let your name be glorified through it all. We give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. If you're with us tonight, we don't we are, want you to thank we thank you for joining us. And we want you to join us again on Tuesday night as we come back once again with the living word of God. God bless you until then. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. <laughs>